What's going on guys? It's your boy Murder Rink here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today we're going to be talking about the history that was made for the clan boss. Not only was a world record broken for the clan boss and Ultra Nightmare difficulty, but it was absolutely shattered. We're talking over a hundred million damage past the previous record. Who did it? None other than Victor Tess. And if you don't know who Victor Tess is, he's probably the only original gangster for the clan boss that I can think of. Me and him used to go back and forth with world records, I want to say a year and a half, almost two years ago now. Obviously, I stopped. He kept on going and kept killing it, never lost his love for the clan boss, and look at him today. He's been breaking records this whole time, and now he's really gone next level. So let's go ahead and look at this picture here of the moment where he hit that 450.65 million damage using two Krisk, Lanikis under Priest Brogni, and Corpulent Cadaver. Now, one thing that's wild to notice about this, he did it in 43 minutes, which is much quicker than a lot of the normal keys that go to the turn limit. But Corpulent Cadaver, the rare champion, did 304 million damage by itself. Just think about that for two seconds. If that's not the most insane thing you've seen, please let me know what it is because I am honestly curious. So once again, huge shout out to Victor. He is a Hispanic content creator. Like I said, he's been killing it since we were doing Clan Boss way, way back in the day. And it brings me so much joy to be able to cover this content for him to let the English viewer side and English audience know about his incredible, incredible achievements. If you haven't heard of it already, he does speak English and you can see him streaming on Twitch. I'll drop his info to his Twitch and his YouTube if you are interested in that. And let's just break this down. Let's talk about it because like I said, this is absolutely insane. But the first thing obviously everyone wants to know is who the hell is Corpulent Cadaver? This rare that came out of nowhere, Shard Shark, as we all know, who came up with the Infinity Team, was the first person to mention this guy's interaction with his new concept of the Infinity Shield. I know Deadwood Jedi also covered it shortly after that. But what makes this guy so special? What's so special is his A1 attacks one enemy, inflicts additional damage if this champion is under a shield buff. The damage is equal to 30% of the value of the shield. Now think about the concept that everyone's been using for these new clan boss teams. It's about making that shield as big as possible. So Victor Tess being the first one to really use that to his advantage, and I'm 99.99% sure he's not done with his record. He's going to keep on going. So with that being said, let me actually show you guys what this looks like in practice here. So as we can see, I am using the Infinity Chaos team. I just swapped out Draco Morph for Corpulent Cadaver here. Let's go ahead and look at his first hit and ability. Let's see how much damage he in fact does. So here's his first hit, 59,000 damage. So as you can imagine, 59,000 damage, just with this base stats, we had no defense down on the boss. We had no shield grow effect yet. From Under Priest Brogni, we are using a shield set on top of the shield effect from under Priest Brockney as well. So we are growing two shields at once. Already you can see the second turn that already jumped from where it was to 87,000 and it's going to keep on escalating over and over through the fight. Now what's really interesting about this team is as long as you can keep Corpulent Cadaver alive, which is the challenge here because he is a rare champion and you have to think about Ultra Nightmare difficulty, how much damage it actually ends up doing past round 100, all of these things that come into effect here. So this guy, main priority, keep him alive at all costs and he doesn't need insane damage gear at all. You just have to build him with crit rate, full survivability, and you will be fine. Ally attack is going to help a ton with his damage output. If you had a counter attack, that would help him even more. But based on how difficult it is to keep the ever extending shields up, it's really hard to work too many champions into this team composition. So as you can see here, we're on turn three now, and let's go ahead and see what is, okay, so 145,000 damage already. So we started at 50, we're at 145. Now let's go ahead and zoom further into fight to see what kind of damage he's doing later on. All right, so now we're at round 15 and let's see how much damage our Corpulent Cadaver is doing now. We have an ally attack, he gets a turn 416,000 damage without having defense down on the boss. So this just goes to show you this guy means business and his damage just goes simply through the roof. Now let's go ahead to the end of the clip and see 
where he is once again at another benchmark. All right, so now we're on turn 20. Let's see what his damage looks like here. 513,000, 515,000 back to back. So you guys kind of get the point here. This is only turn 20. This is really early into the turn count. Imagine this on turn 100. This guy's doing well over a million damage per hit, not including his mastery. So he's absolutely incredible. So with that being said, that just kind of makes you wonder what other really cool teams can people make out of this? Rippling Cadaver has been a thing for a little while now. I wouldn't say it's brand new. I'm pretty sure Shard Shark came out with this info, I want to say a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. And it's really cool to see Victor Test make it to the next level. But the question is, can anybody figure out a team to use this champion for the average player? If you are lucky enough to have this champion, what kind of team comp can you use that doesn't require insane gear? Where you can just throw him in and get an incredible yield of damage because honestly if you really just think about it for a second he can even weak hit and his weak hits will be 400,000 500,000 damage if you can manage extending that shield pretty much forever so this can open up a whole new door for players who don't have Chris. you just need three extenders overall defense down honestly isn't even a huge deal on top of that so maybe i will look into some clan boss a little bit more and see what i can do with a counter attack champion attack down and three extenders maybe three flesh tips Terrors. we can use sand lash survivor is very strong who has that defense or that will add some protection there as well and of course we will need someone like an under priest Bragni, keeping those shields as big as possible for this champion all right guys that's going to conclude my video today on the incredible achievement victor tested i messaged him right away and said hey man i really want to cover this because this is incredible like there have been clan boss records in the past People break it by 10 million, 15 million, 30 million. But to go over 100 million damage past the previous record is simply incredible. So once again, huge shout out to Victor Tess. Go and check him out if you haven't already. He's a lot of fun to stream. If you speak Spanish, it's even better. Even if you don't, it's really interesting to just go and watch him, see how his mind works when he's creating these teams. And looking at the specific types of gear he's using, because it takes a lot of thought and preparation into all of this to really make something this incredible. And as I mentioned before, I really look forward to him breaking that 500 million mark. I think that would be another awesome milestone to hit. And if anyone can do it, I do believe it will be Victor Tess. So as always guys give me your comments give me your feedback who do you guys think can work with corpulent cadaver if you're not going to be pushing for 450 million damage which obviously most of you aren't going to be what kind of teams can you think of that will work to the benefit of people who don't have all of these legendaries of course under priest Brogni is going to be required for this maybe you can throw in some kind of valkyrie team cycling through because like we all saw he does incredible damage so don't forget if you enjoy this content like subscribe turn on that notification bell so you're notified when i drop my next video and i will see you all in my next upload